Hey Internet, I'm Colorfarty and welcome back to Frogger He's Back. We're ready to start the Bat World today, and it is, well, I'd say it about breaks even. Two of the levels are awesome, and one of the levels is nearly unbearable. So, first up is Dark Dark Cavern, and this is an awesome level. Also, this world has amazing music. Again, I know I say that about every world, but this one in particular has great music. So the gimmick here is that, well, it's dark, and if you eat these uh, white bugs, then the room lights up a bit. Then these bugs, on the other hand, just give you more points. It's actually, the cavern's not as big as you might think, but you still need to watch out for the spiders, and there's still a lot of stuff you can collect. This is, still remains to be one of my favorite levels in the game. Thanks. No! Yeah, sometimes the spiders can come out of nowhere in the darkness, so you do need to watch out for that. Ah, oh, darn it. I thought he went up just a little farther. And yeah, as you can see, the red frog is kind of secluded from the other frogs. Red Frog! And lucky us, Blue Frog! So this level's really short and pretty easy. Next level is anything but. Oh boy. Woo! I cannot believe I did that. Alright, time for one of the worst levels in the game. Frogger goes skiing. <sighs> this is a pain. If you know me, you'll know I hate ice physics. Guess what this level has? Ice physics, and nothing but ice physics. It also gets progressively darker, so you do still need to eat those bugs on your way. And as it gets darker, it's nearly impossible to tell what's coming, and nearly impossible to dodge it. Also, you'll notice I'll be passing all the frogs because, well, each frog is farther down than the last, and it's easiest to get the final frog when it's nice and bright. You can kind of control where frog goes, you can move left and right, you can also move uh, down if you're going down in order to make you go faster, or up if you're going up to make you go faster, and then the opposite direction will make you go slower. So I've passed all the frogs except the green frog. The green frog's the one we're going to get. Bam. Trust me, you want to get him first. So you may not think it's getting darker. It is. Slower than Dark Dark Cavern was. But as you can see, I, don't, I can't see quite as far now. See, because I couldn't see him coming until it was too late to avoid him. That's fun. No! Oh, stupid freaking spiders! Spiders are the bane of my existence in both Frogger and in Pikmin 3. Yeah, I used to be able to see all the way up to the top of the screen. Not anymore. And you can see just how much of a pain it is even to get the red frog, which is the closest one, if the room is dark. Because you literally just can't see where you're going. No, no, no. Oh. See? That's where the ice fixes are annoying. Darn it. Oh my gosh, I'm alive. How am I alive? Also, those are bats. This level is kind enough to give you some, uh, quite a few one-ups. Alright. Purple frog is good. The bats are not good. The bats can take uh, catch you off guard, much like the spiders. But at least the spider, or at least the bats, make that <laughs> sound when you uh, get close to them. The Lord said, "Let there be light," and saw it was good. I don't know. You're not gonna make a fool out of me. I just wanted to get that one up. 
There are a couple of levels with ice physics, one of them I kind of like, and then the others are nightmares. This is the one with the most extensive ice physics. But uh, no! Stupid. <sighs> As I was saying, this is the level with the most extensive ice physics. It's still not the worst level with ice physics, though. That'll come in the fishbone world. I'm pretty sure those of you who have played Frogger before know exactly which level I'm talking about. And Orange Frog! Okay. I can do this. I've got a ton of lives. The frog I need to get is the one that's closest to the base. It's Red Frog. Oh, no, 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 you went too far. Put your left foot in, you put your left foot out. Alright, so now that that nightmare's over with, we get to go to Webb's Cavern, which is... It almost makes up for the fact that this level was terrible, because it is freaking awesome. Once again, the room progressively gets darker. But this level is just amazing. As you can see, there are bats everywhere now. So if we go over here... Orange Frog! So this whole area is just a giant maze, which I personally really like mazes, especially in like games like this. So my inner fanboy is Squeen. All right, good. It helps to get the blue frog when it's light because those spiders, like I've said, can really put a damper on your mood because they blend in with the darkness quite nice. And Green Frog. This level ha also has possibly my favorite music in the game. It fits the level perfectly. Also, for some reason, there's lava flowing down there. And I jumped straight through a wall. That's cool. You can also jump through that one, but you have to super hop. Yeah, this level is just like, the music is just like hauntingly awesome. It's perfectly atmospheric at the same time, it's so good. Where are you? There you are. Alright. Whoa boy. Make way for bats. It's like make way for ducklings, but scarier. Uh, sorry guys. No? Man, you guys come by way, way more frequently than I gave you credit for. No, no. Alright, so before we go up, we're gonna go into this little alcove. Watch out for the spiders. Get him. And pick out on some bugs. Good times all around. Alright. Now, that little bug is called Brighton, and it instantly brightens the room to maximum capacity! Oh no! Get out of here. Get out of here. No! The freaking spiders. See, on this level, the bats are a lot more annoying because they move a lot faster than the spiders. Spiders still blend in better. Are you freaking kidding me? Those bats. Sorry, guys. Guff calls. Oh, I've actually never been over this area. Is that the blue frog's uh, location? Yes, that most certainly is. Alright, just gotta avoid the bats now. Oh, and the spiders. Look at that. There we go! Yes! Bat zone complete. Despite Frogger Go Skiing, this is one of my favorite worlds in the game. Just because the other two levels are really good. And it is short.
so I'll give it that. And we actually finished that faster than I thought we would, so let's start in on the Cloud World. First up, I said first up, Looney Balloons. Oh my gosh, I only just got that now. As in, like, the Bird Loon. <sighs> so the first level of this is awesome. You're in the clouds. You get to ride pelicans everywhere. And in the Cloud World, unlike the Lily Pad World, you can actually hop on their beaks. Go down here, we can get some bugs. So, okay. The balloons in this world. The gimmick is green balloons, when you jump on them, they just rise until they uh, reach the top and then they pop. Then the yellow and red ones slowly fall while you're standing on them. And if you let them fall enough, then they will pop. I can't believe I made it on that. What the heck? I fell through the cloud! Clouds are supposed to be for solid platforms in this. Yeah, so if you, like, just hop from one to another really quickly, then you're not gonna go down. No! I missed again! Yeah, so there are pelicans, little pelicans, and then ducks. I really like ducks. One of my favorite animals. But I will settle for a pelican. And Orange Frog. So you'll keep seeing that Blue Frog. He's actually like the last one you'll get, probably. Ooh, I, I'm riding that duck. I am riding that duck. <laughs> then what's cool are the Canadian geese. Ride one down here. No! Actually, I guess this isn't too bad. So then what you want to do is hop on this green balloon, let it rise a bit, then jump off, and get the red frog. Alright, we're going back there, because now we have to get the purple frog. On you goose. Oh, lovely. <laughs> um, geese don't make that sound. That's the sound a duck makes. Alright, what we want to do. It's been a while since I've gone over this way. Let me tell you what. Wait, what the heck? It was right there. Alright, I guess I'll just show you the easier way to get them. There is a way you can go from the red frog to the purple frog, but it's pretty convoluted. Instead, the much easier way... Hop a ride on into one of these guys. Then hop on this balloon, let it rise up, go down to the yellow balloon. Go down here, hop on the pelican. And purple frog is ours. Ah, oh, sorry duck. I missed you. Alright, so the blue frog is literally right next to the purple one. May not have seen it, but... Pfft, that's gotta hurt. <laughs> jump down, let this one rise, jump down, and blue frog. Now, unfortunately, we have to do time flies, and I'm going to get it over with this episode. Time flies, despite the name, time does not fly on this stage. Rather, this is one of the longest stages in the game, and it's so repetitive, and it's just boring. It's also later in the day than Looney Balloons was. Yeah. 
So you may see, well, our time is really short, so how could this be along the stage? It's because you get a lot more time on this level. Also, watch out for those birds. Pop this balloon, and a flock of Canadian geese are summoned. And now, the not fun begins. See that? We have to go all the way down here, and the way we do that is literally just riding the Canadian geese for like two minutes. Making sure to eat bugs along the way to make sure we don't run out of time. And we get to do this five times, guys! And if you're really lucky, you'll fall at the end and have to do it an additional time. I would have honestly prefer the Cloud World is just two, uh, three levels. I know that'll be hard because level three is a repeat of Looney Balloons, just harder. Oh well. This is why the Cloud World is not exactly one of my favorites. We're gonna hop up here. Because if we go over here, Green Frog. Oh boy. Oh, maybe those guys don't hurt you. I thought they did. And who's up for round two? This is boring. It's so boring. I wonder if you guys can understand me because I'm going to speed this part up in editing. Whoopee. This course is even more boring if you can't hear the music. I summon Canadian geese. to maneuver on these amazing balloons, not... And by that I mean the balloons are not amazing. Look at all these points! Whoopee, that's the level at its most exciting. 79 seconds, not bad. Especially considering we start the level with like 35 seconds. Really cool. I'm also super pumped for Ace Attorney 6. That'll be fun. I would let's play this, except those games would be so boring to let's play, because it's like all talking. I'd have to do like a full cast to help me with the voices and make it really entertaining. Those games are definitely meant to be uh, played and not watched. It's so boring! And Frogger's ton is transparent. For no! No! Frogger, of all the times, did not register my jump, you uh, idiot. Now I have to do that again. No! <laughs> Well, at least that's not as big a deal, because I didn't have to go for the Canadian Gay Cyclone of Death. It's my own fault. I've been- I played too much Mega Man Rock Force on this computer, and now the keyboard's not exactly at its finest. Boing, 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 pop! Oh boy. Why did you make a level like this? Why? Is there a single person out there who's like, Oh, I love Time Flies! Great level! I don't think so. Everyone I've talked to, which has been like two people, have been like, Oh, Time Flies. Boo. So boring. Oh, 
I almost might prefer Frogger Go Skiing, because honestly, at least Frogger Go Skiing was exciting. A bad kind of exciting, but it was still exciting. This one's just boring. Oh boy. Alright, I'm not going to be stupid this time. That was way too risky. But at least I got the hardest frog. Yes, I'm going this slow on purpose. I do not want to fall. There we go! Time does not fly on this level. The fastest I managed to get a frog was 57 seconds. Well, as much as, as much as I want to do Looney or Balloons, because that's much more fun than Time Flies, I think that's going to end it for this episode. Thanks for watching, I'm Colorful Artie, and I hope to see you for the next episode. Have a great day, and God bless.